Hello and welcome to Scout on the Commodore 64 and this was released by a Mastertronic in 1988 and uh, I never played this before, uh, I saw a review by Lecozer a couple of months ago and uh, he was definitely not a fan to say the least. Uh, he very much gave it a thumbs down and uh, it's quite an entertaining review, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the notes uh, for this video in the description. I uh, definitely recommend having a look at that but uh, I thought I'd have a go myself and uh, see if I liked it any better. So let's get started. So the idea is you take control of this uh, scout vehicle, looks a bit like a sort of wheelchair. And the idea is you've just got to make your way to the end of each level, and there's eight levels in total. And the screen just keeps scrolling. Um, I've already lost <laughs> a couple of lives already. Uh, three lives already. And as you probably guessed, uh, it's a pretty hard game. Uh, it's absolutely brutal. And uh, certainly alarm bells probably ringing uh, when you see the amount of lives it gives you at the start of the game. Uh, you know it's going to be pretty tough going, but um, it's, I don't know, there's something about it that ke actually kept me coming back, uh, maybe it's just uh, sheer bloody minded uh, determination, but uh, for some reason, uh, I, I don't know, I, I started playing it and uh, even though it, it completely kept my arse, um, for uh, not the first few goes, but quite a considerable amount of goes, uh, still kicking me off. Uh, but uh, for some reason, I kept coming back to play it. I think partly, uh, certainly, the music plays a big factor, and I, I can't stress enough how much it adds to the game. Uh, music by your own cell. It's a brilliant tune, and it really it just adds a lot to the game. That, that because the game itself actually does, uh, it seems to go out of its way to just completely piss you off. Um, the collision detection is pretty terrible. Uh, as soon as you go near the edge of a platform, you explode. Um, sometimes it can actually work in your favour. Uh, it's so bad, sometimes it, uh, it can actually let you off. I mean. So, um, sometimes it bounces out. But uh, the biggest problem is the fact that the, en the enemies zigzag up and down uh, so quickly, uh, much faster than uh, the rate of fire on, on your vehicle. Uh, sometimes it's just very hard to actually destroy them. It's just it's something that you just can't synchronise your, your movement with the uh, aliens and you just can't get hit. And that is quite frustrating. Um, I think I'm, it's almost game over. Um, at the bottom of the screen you can see three uh, icons, one of them is flashing. Uh, that's the default weapon. Um, there are actually two other power-ups you can pick up in the game. Uh, I've only managed to see one of them in action, uh, hopefully we will see it uh, in the review. Um, there are no power-ups um, in the first level. Um, and the power-ups themselves, uh, look, they look a bit like your, your uh, vehicle, your wheelchair, but they're static on the ground and you can shoot them. But they, So you've got to be very careful not to shoot them. But they do always appear in the same place, so that is actually quite helpful. You know to, where to look for them. Right, so that was the first game, Done and Dusted. Did absolutely terrible. Let's concentrate a bit and see if I can get to the end of the first level at least. And even though the game is ridiculously hard, uh, sometimes you can make progress in the game. I think it's, it's probably more down to luck than anything. But, um, the, the first I managed to get is level 4. I've done that a couple of times, but uh, generally I can, I can get to level 3. But some games, uh, you know, I start a game and I just can't get off the first level. And it's just purely down to luck and perhaps a bit of concentration. Uh, and it's not helped by the fact that when you lose a life, 
it puts you all the way back to the start of the bloody level. I uh, just, ah, uh, just a pet hate of mine, and it just doesn't do the game any favours. I mean, the levels are fairly short, but uh, it would have been nice if there'd been maybe a restart point halfway through the level. The power-ups themselves are not all that useful. Um, you only get them for a limited amount of time, and uh, well, the first power-up uh, you see there at the bottom, uh, well, the middle one, I suppose. There's some sort of extra firepower that I haven't seen yet, but the, the last icon is uh, gives you the ability to fly, which you think would make it easier, but it doesn't really make it any easier to be honest though. <laughs> I'm just getting my ass kicked big time. But to be fair, I, I don't know, I don't mind games that are that sometimes hard as long as I, I, I enjoy playing them and for some reason, I, I don't know, I did actually enjoy this, so... Yeah, Lukoza, I uh, gave it uh, a, a, a grand score of a 0 out of 10. Uh, he did say the music did to help uh, give it a, a 0 rating, otherwise he, he would have... Uh, definitely give it a minus, possibly put it in his crap games uh, award category. Um, uh, the Zap review gave it 48%. Um, Gordon Hofton was kind of on the fence about it. He seemed to quite like it a little bit. Uh, Julian Vignal absolutely hated it, which is a bit of a surprise because Julian Vignal tend to, tended to uh, like difficult games. I thought this might be up his street, but nah, he, he seemed to think it was quite repetitive. Which is, I suppose, a bit hard to argue with. Right, that means we'll just start another game. So two games down and I haven't got off the first level yet. Let's try again. So um, yeah, graphically I think it's pretty good uh, for a budget game, 88 budget game. Uh, I think the presentation's alright. Uh, Seems reasonably well programmed, they're just 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 not well designed. <laughs> but there's apart from the dodgy collision detection, there's no glaring bugs or anything like that. I don't know whether the coder did all the testing, which is quite commonplace back then, and, and that's why games tended to be a bit hard because these guys have been playing the game for months and were absolute you know, um, masters of it. I suspect that was probably the case here. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any sound effects, none, none that I could get to, uh, I don't know if there's a key to activate them, but I couldn't seem to get anything to work. So it's just the tune, which is fine, because the tune's great, uh, it really adds a lot. And gameplay, yeah, it's it's a, it's a real bastard to play, it's so tough. But uh, I, I don't know, maybe it's just the satisfaction of completing a level, if I, I actually managed to do it in this uh, video. But uh, I did gain some enjoyment out of it. Certainly more enjoyment than I did playing Starlifter. I, I, go, I mean, if, if you missed my review of that, go back and check it out and you'll see how much I despise that game. Um, I think this is a much uh, more enjoyable game than that. Right, let's just quit starting the game. It's one of the better design choices of the game is that it actually has a quick key, uh, which I'm going to use again. Right, I'm going to concentrate. Not that that helps, but uh, <laughs> it does seem to be definitely a 
more luck than judgment sometimes because the attack waves are, are fairly random. You can't you can't get any better or really. Uh, you just got to try and hedge your bets and just keep bouncing them down and move forward at the right times. That seems to be the best strategy. So you can see that helicopter there just could not hit it. Yeah, just sometimes it's just so hard to sync up your shots with the uh, movement of the aliens. And talking of the aliens, it is a fairly oh, sweet. It's a fairly random selection. The helicopters, blobs, um, looks like a hang glider there. Um, yeah, it's a fairly random selection of enemies. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much thought put into the, the design of them. I mean, at, th at this point, I'm just holding down the fire button and just continuously firing. But uh, w once you get to some of the levels, I mean, you know where the power ups are. You've got to be careful. To be fair, I, I've been playing a bit on my uh, real six, C64 and I do find it a bit easier. I don't, uh, don't know why that is, uh, maybe because it's a bit smoother. Or maybe because I'm using a proper joystick, I don't know. But I'm not going to end this review until we have seen at least another level. Just to show that it, it can actually be done. Otherwise, nobody will believe me. In fact, I'm just going to quit. Because I just don't have a lot of lives left. So there's not much more I can talk about. The, the review, I'm just trying to completely level now. Uh, yeah, so I've covered the graphics and the audio. And the gameplay. It's been pretty much covered. Um, so I never, I never played this back in the day. Um, I, I think if I'd bought it, I, I don't think I would have been felt ripped off really. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, I bought worse, um, not just Starlifter, but uh, you know, a lot of games uh, worse than this. Right, I'm concentrate. chance to listen to the great music. To be honest, uh, it sounds more like a, a, a demo tune that your own tells done and, and just sort of sold it to Mastertronic and they've just stuck it in the game. It doesn't sound like it's been particularly or especially commissioned for the game. Not at all. You could argue that it doesn't really suit the game, but it does help the game. Uh, I must have had about 10 games of this and not go off the first level. So, uh, yeah, if, if you've played this, then you know you, you probably know exactly where I'm coming from when I say it's ridiculously hard. If you haven't played it um, and you don't like hard games, do not even think about loading it up. But if you do like a bit of a challenge, uh, this definitely ticks the box for that. Um, Most of the aliens can be dodged, it's just those zigzagging helicopters that really get annoying. Yes! 
First level completed. And we get this bit where it gives you some bonus points and you can't skip it and it takes ages. I suppose it gives you a, a bit of a rest. It does get a bit annoying. And we're on to the next level. And to be fair, there is a bit of graphical variety uh, in levels. Maybe not so noticeable on this level, but uh, certainly level 3 and 4 are quite different looking. I've no idea what the other levels look like. I'm not sure I will ever get to them. Because as hard as level 1 was and level 2 is, level 3 and 4 are very, very difficult indeed. Right, I think there's a power up coming up. I'll try and get it. Oh, just shot the bloody thing. Uh, I think there's another one in this level, there's two. Hopefully I'll get the second one. Oh, completed the second level. On a roll! I don't think I've lost a leaf in this game yet. This is what I'm saying, it's just... It's just complete luck. I'm not doing anything different really than I did in, in the 10 games I had before this. But uh, I've somehow managed to complete the first two levels without losing a life. Yeah, yeah, the jumps are really difficult in this level. Ooh. Some of them are really. don't give you much scope to make any mistakes. This is definitely where it would be easier to, to have the uh, flying power up. Now the thing about the flying power up is when, when you get it, uh, you know, it's time limited. Oh, completed third level. Wow! Still haven't lost life. Yeah, the, the, the power ups are time limited. Uh, and uh, and your craft will, will flash a little bit. That gives you a warning that uh, it's about to run out. I mean it runs out, it just it just drops you on the ground, so if you're above a bit of scenery that, you know, is uh, is dangerous, that it will just drop you onto it. Uh, so you've got to watch where it drops you. Yeah, for some reason your your wheelchair looks a bit different in this level. I don't know whether it's the colour scheme or... Let's have a look. Uh, it does look a bit different. Uh, it might just be the colour scheme, I don't know. Yeah, this level is quite quite hard because uh, these bubbles are quite uneven. It's if you if you roll in between them, it will destroy you. Oh, oh, oh damn it! That looked like a power up. Damn it! Well, I might have a chance of getting it when I lose a life in a second, which is inevitable. Right, let's try and get that power up. And then I've shown you, well I've shown you one of the power ups, so... We've missed the flying one. Right. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm trying not to fire, so I not destroy it accidentally. This is probably the best game I've ever had of it. Uh, I got to this level with lots of lives now, I've only got one. Thing is, you can't, you, you can't even. You got to watch when you move backwards so that you don't move onto a bit of uneven scenery, otherwise it will blow you up. It is. Can I get it? Yes! Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I thought it would be a bit more impressive than that. <laughs> I suppose it's a bit wider. I mean, it's a bit more chance of actually hitting the uh, zigzagging enemies. Well, obviously not. And it's time limited, so when you lose a life, at least you still have it uh, for a while. I think if you pick another one up while you have if I, pick an, if I pick it up again, then it extends 
Yeah, it'll extend the time I've got it for, but I've missed it, yes, Swain. Right, so, um, well, that's Scout for you. Um, it's difficult to rate it, um, because it's so hard and it's got so many faults, but uh, for some reason I, 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 I did find myself coming back to it. So it's got, it's got, I think it's got some playability. So, um, uh, so I'll give it, um, I'll give it three and a half out of ten. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible. Uh, it's got more flaws than good points. <laughs> I think it's a fairly honest assessment of it. But um, it's got some playability. But, uh, yeah, if, if you don't like tough games, then stay away from this. Uh, this is really for the sort of people who completed army moves on their first go. Uh, that's that's how hard it is. So three and a half out of ten for Scout, and see you in the next video.